So, I got my handy dandy little camera holder, my soldering gun, I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place this on the little table here that I set up for this. Boom, bada, bang. Okay. Now then, we're going to take and preheat the soldering gun. But before we do that, we're going to put the wires together. So you put this wire right here, right up on each other, and twist it. Twist it around. Try and keep the copper on the copper. Like that. And like that. Alright, if you're feeling bold, you may be able to do another one. But I'm just going to do one at a time. Because I end up screwing up the shrink wrap every time. So anyway, you got your flux on there. You get your solder ready. Get it out. Take and pull the trigger on your heat gun. And get it good and hot before you touch it. So we'll just sit here and wait until it gets good and hot. Because I want to... Uh, solder this as fast as possible without shrinking the shrink wrap on the wire. Anyway, it's pretty hot now. So I'm going to stick it on here. But I just run my soldering on it. There. Just like that. Alrighty then. Now then. You need a lighter, too. So I'm just going to run this right over the thing, over the splice. And then shrink wrap it. Just like that. Okay? Now then. Now we do it again. We take one of the pieces I've already cut. Put it over the black wire. Just like this. Run it all the way down to the opposite side. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to take and run it up on this wire. Just bend it over. One going one way. One going the other way. Alright. If you need to use more solder, throw some more solder on it. I use a popsicle stick or whatever, dab it on there, take your little solder, like that, okay, okay, now then, okay, now we're just going to solder, we're going to heat up the soldering gun, mm -hmm. Look, it's good and hot. Real good and quick. Hit it, I don't know, I'm going to put about, I don't know, maybe an inch or so of solder on there. Boom, you can see it's covered. Alrighty then. Okay, now then, once that's done, slide this piece over it. Come on, don't get it all warm because it'll shrink right there on you. Boom. Shrink it on you. Okay, now then, you just have the ground left. That's reasonably simple. You stick your piece of, piece of uh, shrink wrap on the longest one. It should be this one. Then we slide it over, twist them up, trying to keep them the same length so that when the cord, when I tape the cord back together, it's more like a normal cord and not some big bulky slice. At any rate, there we go. I'm gonna roll it over. So it sits right there. Doesn't get impeded by the... Uh, okay. 
Now, heat up the soldering gun. Like I said, about an inch doesn't take too much. Don't breathe the smoke, it's supposed to be bad for you. Just like everything else. Now, okay, um, hold it away from the shrink wrap. Here you go. Now we put the shrink wrap on it. Ay, ay, ay. Come on. I got that one a little loose. All right, come on now. Come on. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna wait to let it cool down. Oh, what fun is that? Okay. There's that. Grab it. Make sure all of them are shrink wrapped good. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. Here you have it. Now I'll take a rag. If you got one. Here's one. Got a rag. Here's a rag. Alrighty then. Take a rag. Clean it a little bit. Pop on your staples. <coughs> Leave one of the staples in. Okay. Got it cleaned. Give it a little twist. I got a little bit too much there, but you know, I can work with it. That's got to go right there. Okay, this, this, the uh, splices are opposite each other, they're not touching. Take some of your tape, pull off about three inches. I'm using rubber tape, uh, kind of to build up the, the, uh, the extension cord back to what it was. This is kind of, you kind of stretch and stretch. And stretch and stretch. So then, with one end in one end anchored down, grab your cord, put it right on here where your splice starts, and just wrap it. And as tight as possible. Right. I'm coming out of a staple a little bit, so I'll staple back. Okay. Okay. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. And when you get to the end right here. Go around, maybe get some of the old old insulation to make like a seal, and go back over it again. And you can do this as many times as you want to make it out oh, the same thickness as the old cord. So again, that it's not really seems like there's a splice there or anything to hamper you. So then after you do that, bring it all the way around. Stretch it tight, seal it off. Then, if you want, you can put real, a regular electrical tape on it and finish it off. I think I might have blue electrical tape or brown or gray. I'm going to put some gray on it to make it match. The old extension cord. Okay. 
So now then, there you have it. Okay. This will work with doing it on the on the ends and everything. So now then. There you have your finished, pretty much finished product. This that one was a little bad, but you get better at it as you go along. Okay, okay. This is Eric's one. Out.